What's going on, dudes? Welcome back to the vault. It's your boy, MC Dirty Water. Um, and this would be another um, review for a film that I, I watched way before uh, lockdown happened. And I'm only now just getting it uploaded. So excuse me, my apologies. But the film I will be reviewing um, late is Dark Waters, uh, so let's just jump straight into it without further ado. Uh, this one opens with an introduction to lawyer and just made partner uh, Rob Billot, Billot, I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, um, before he takes on a case that changes his life drastically. Uh, strong, strong cast for this one. Uh, Mark Ruffalo plays the aforementioned uh, lawyer and honestly uh, gives a tremendous emotion-driven performance. I'm really appreciating Ruffalo in these more mature, uh, serious roles. Um, Anne Hathaway uh, joins Ruffalo as Billot's... Billot? I think it's Billot. Oh, I don't know what it is. Um, wife and gives a, a great performance as a woman who wants to support her husband whilst at the same time trying to stop him causing too much damage to their simple and, and easy life. Um, both Ruffalo and Hathaway are joined by the likes of Tim Robbins, Victor Garber and Bill Pullman. The standout for me, though, was Bill Camp, who plays a farmer watching his livelihood uh, slowly being poisoned in front of him. Uh, the guy gives a performance that goes through a range of emotions, just an incredibly talented actor. Um... The story for this one is truly incredible. Uh, it tells of West Virginian lawyer who begins investigating the death of 190 cows before finding some shocking truths about the big chemical uh, company in town. Um, the story, albeit a tad long, plays out like a wonderful stage play, uh, fully fleshing out uh, each character and moving at a pace that was akin to how real-life events played out. Um, and that's where this whole narrative really did shine, by subtly and, and masterfully uh, detailing the frustration uh, these characters were experiencing. Uh, the narrative also carries a rather bittersweet punch. Just when you think Billow will be fully vindicated, the film pulls out the, the film pulls the rug out from underneath you and really makes you think about modern day greed. Just some absolutely fantastic script writing. Um, Todd Haynes directs this wonderful, thought-provoking film uh, and does not disappoint. Uh, he expertly lays out the story uh, and, and the characters and the characters... Uh, lays out the story and the characters uh, and, and just leaves it at that. Uh, he lets the, the story tell itself. He perfectly outlays the time frame which all of this took place uh, and he puts the greed and malfeasance right in front of the audience with, with nothing to distract from it. Um, Haynes, you know... And the source material, I felt, just really benefited from each other, uh, you know, and I, I felt, I, I really feel, feel like they benefit from each other, I felt, and, you know, and it definitely made Haynes a, a, a director to, to look out for in the future. Um, but there we have it. Uh, I also loved, uh, sorry, I also loved how much this film stuck to the source material, and I've said that already, and didn't try to take much, if any, artistic license. It truly showed the greed and dis disregard for human life from big corporations while still staying true to the actual people that were involved. Um, truly a masterpiece um, in, in storytelling. Um, there we have it. There is my very quick review for Dark Waters. Um, the only thing uh, I learned from this film was that I should not be drinking water unless I want to turn into a nonstick pan. But there we have it. So let's just jump to the two most important questions. Question number one, would I recommend this film? Um, I would recommend this film. It's a little bit more slow burning. But if you've seen the film Spotlight and you really enjoyed that, it's very much in the same vein um, as as Spotlight of you know of people uncovering just atrocities that have been committed to to innocent people. Um, so I would I would one hundred percent recommend this film if you can get it on demand or DVD or whatever. Definitely give it a watch. It is a tad long and it could have probably been shortened in in areas, but it's definitely worth a watch. Definitely very interesting. So for I would definitely recommend this film if you haven't seen it yet. Jump to question number two. Does this film belong in the vault? As I said, this film is just a bit long and it is a little bit boring in, in places. Uh, but having said that, I really did enjoy this film. I mean, I love Spotlight. You know, as I said, it's, it's in the same vein as this film. I really enjoyed this film. I mean, I love films about um, people uncovering um, murky truths and and just uncovering things like this. It's just something I really enjoy seeing in, in, a, in a film. So for those, for those reasons, there's that little diamond star and it's gone off wherever, into the vault, followed by lots of Teflon-filled water. I don't know. Uh, but there we go, guys. This is my review for Dark Waters. If you've seen the film and you liked it, 
Let me know what you like down in the comments below. If you didn't like it, again, let me know what you, you didn't like. And as always, guys, if you like what I'm doing here, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, your pets, your family, your friendly neighborhood Virginian lawyers, or your friendly neighborhood Teflon nonstick pans. Until the next one, peace and love, my dudes.